Hey guys, and welcome back to Free Plugin Friday. Today we are looking at another kind of, I guess, more of a utility plugin. It's actually a really interesting kind of frequency based monitor plugin. Uh, great for honing in on certain frequencies to double check on your mix, and also could probably be used as an effect. It's called Isolate, it's from TB Pro Audio. If you haven't checked out the other videos on TB Pro Audio products, I have a couple now I've done, so go check them out. Uh, let's just dive straight into this. So it's basically a five band frequency monitor. You have all the bands you can set up here, so they're the crossover points. You have low frequency, low mid frequency, mid frequency, high mid frequency, and high frequency. So five bands of frequency. You can mute them, whatever ones you want, or you could solo them. You can also change the stereo mode, so you can check out a bunch of different channels and monitor them that way. You can monitor uh, different things, the mids, the sides, the left and right. You have an output control, a dim attenuation, which is great for listening to your mixes really quietly to make sure they stand up in a quiet environment because sometimes just being loud makes stuff sound good and when you turn it down, you realize your mix is shit. Um, so very good there and a slope control, two different slopes for the different frequencies. So let's just have a listen to it and see what you can kind of do. Like I said, it's mainly intended as a monitoring plugin so you can check on low end check on the mids, check everything is where you think it should be, um, just to help your ears out a little bit. Now, people will be saying, well, why don't you just listen normally? Well, it depends. If you're not in your premium environment, uh, you know, you don't have great low end in your speakers or noisy stuff's going on, or maybe you're in headphones, whatever. It's really useful just to eliminate all the other frequencies so you can really concentrate and make sure everything sounds the way you want. For example, you might not notice your low end and then you solo it and you find out it's kind of all over the place and like the stereo feels weird and all this stuff's going on that you might not notice because you're being handled with all the other stuff. So let's just have a listen. Um, we're not going to mess around too much, but we're going to show some kind of use cases. So I got this track. It's banging up. I just want to check that kick and bass and have this on the low end. Now I've noticed at 200, I've got some vocals. If we change the slope here. So, I mean, I could have checked on those vocals, but I can't necessarily hear that there's low end. And maybe I wanted to filter that, maybe I don't. I actually like it, but you know, you get my point if you didn't want it there. So let's have a look at under the 100. So this is your real subby stuff. now. I struggle to often hear this in my room because I've got small speakers and the soundproofing isn't the best as far as um, controlling low end you need really, you know, that that's the kind of problem I have being in an apartment. So this is very useful to let me kind of hear what's going on. And I think we can check the mids. So we've checked the, the sides here. Like I said, you've got left, right, mid, and sides. If we check the sides here, I can hear that there's not too much low energy going on in the sides that I don't want because I don't want low energy in the sides. Lows come from the middle. And, you know, subs are usually mono, all this kind of stuff. You don't need to waste low energy on the sides. It just ends up making it kind of sound not so direct. You get phase issues. And as well, if you ever cut into vinyl, you can't have low end on the sides. It makes the needle skip. So, um, so we can listen to the mids there, take it off. We can listen to maybe the low mids and the low frequency just to hear what's going on there. Check they're working together, sound like they're working fine to me. Maybe we want to just check out the mid range to make sure everything's going on how we expect there. Let's check the high end. I mean, this bit doesn't have a lot of high end until the symbols come in, but. What's interesting is there's kick there. Maybe we don't want kick there. Maybe you didn't notice the kick was covering up in that end. You can always take it down. Like I said, it's just to help you kind of hear things that you might be, you might think you're hearing and you're not sure and you just want to check them. You can also mute things 
if they're coming distracting. Like maybe the low end's coming too distracting in this. I'm just gonna pull this up to 200 again. Can we bypass everything here too? And again, you can use an effect. So maybe we do something like this and we go, that's like a breakdown effect, right? Or with a bigger slope. So that slope's so big, it's gonna cause problems. But it's basically just mid frequencies, right? So you can do something like this. Just like some breakdown section. You know, it's a monitoring plugin, but it can be used for an effect. Kind of smooth that, put control, you know. Uh, so the other thing is dim. Now, obviously, I've got this before um, this uh, L2 here. But you probably want it after or in your monitoring chain. So this is in your monitoring chain. Like I said, it's going to depend what you're kind of doing. Uh, it's intended to be in your monitoring chain. Put it in your monitoring chain. Um, and then if you if you have one, otherwise just put it at the end after everything on your stereo bus. And then use the dim control. Which has got a nice curve. That's got a nice curve to it. Um, just so you're not really shocked with the volume. I like to dim it about minus 12. So, you know, now I can check. And it's really interesting. I don't know what you're listening on me. You've got this loud. I'm noticing I hear more high end in my kick now. Turn it off. Ramps back up. Now what's really interesting to me right now is I'm clipping. That's something interesting to be aware of. It does affect your sound. Now I'm not sure why I'm getting extra volume, but let's just have a look down here. Minus one, right? This is the last in the chain. Yeah. So it's something to be aware of. It is actually changing. No, that's 2.3 dB, so that's 3.3 dB above where it should be. So that's something interesting to be aware of. Um, so it might be something that you want to bypass the plugin normally and then put it on to do your checks um, because obviously there's something weird going on there. But again, let's look at the dim. Very smooth, you can set it wherever. Sometimes you just want a little bit off, like minus 6 dB. Maybe I just want to check the left. Check the right. Check the mids. Check the sides. Now what could be cool is a control there, but again, this is a monitoring plugin, so it's not intended. To control there but you can obviously use it as an effect um not much more to it and we could listen to all the frequencies and stuff but there's not really a lot of point it's kind of very smooth at 24 at 48 you wouldn't really want to control this in real time because that is such a steep filter you're going to get that and like we found out before there is a little bit of a weird volume thing going on there which um, might also be affecting the tone because of the slopes. You might be getting a little bit of resonance that I can't really hear, but it's going to push you over. So beware of that. Otherwise, really cool plugin just to help you concentrate on different frequencies in a very easy, intuitive way um, and very just nice interface. I, I like, you know, a lot of people don't like skew morphing interfaces, but when it's something like buttons, I think it works great. You just hit them buttons there instead of, you know, a real digital interface. Um, you just go bang, bang, let's do that, you know, whatever. And pretty little lights, 
always keeps us interested. So that's been another free plugin Friday, another really short one, another utility plugin, but hope you've enjoyed it. Please check out the other free plugin Fridays and I will see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>